Sour can produce an incredible bounty for some of Canada's plant eaters. In the western mountains, the summer sun triggers a spectacular bloom of color. Alpine wildflowers bloom in abundance to take advantage of the short summer at high altitudes, and they are highly prized by one of the mountain's wild, wild inhabitants. This American pika is hard at work taking advantage of the short-lived bounty of an alpine summer. She is a wildflower conigure. She selects flowers that will provide her with the most nutrients for the coming winter. All her harvest must be carried up the rocky scree slope to her den. It's quite a trek when your legs are only 4 centimeters long. She is building a catch of food called a haystack. Pikas don't hibernate, hibernate, so she must store enough food to last through the long winter ahead. She is very particular about what goes in her pantry. She even selects poisonous plants that would make her sick if she ate them now. The toxins re reduce mold throughout the entire haystack. And over the winter, the toxins decay so she can eat the plants without getting sick. But gathering enough flowers to survive winter is hard work. She makes up to 200 trips a day back and forth to the meadow. One of her routes takes her right past her neighbor's haystack. All that harvesting is tiring and her neighbor's catch is closer than the flower meadow. Sometimes it's tempting to look for a shortcut. He is hard at work and he doesn't seem to notice that his pile is missing a few pieces. If he is going to leave his pantry wide open, why not take advantage? She makes sure he is distracted by a bountiful flower patch so she can take her time to get an extra big mouthful. Stealing is all in a day's work when you are an ambitious pika preparing for winter.